Hey, this is Tom, and on today's episode of the Mini Sculpting Super Show, I'm going to show you something a little bit different. Instead of sculpting an entire miniature, I'm going to show you what got me into sculpting miniatures, and that's conversions. So sit back and watch me convert a space outlaw. Most of my videos focus on sculpting the entire miniature. You know, whether you're a professional or an amateur, that's really been what I've shown off the most and tried to instruct people. But the fact is, one of the best ways to get started with miniature sculpting, and frankly it's how I got started, is with converting miniatures. It's still something that I do um, quite frequently for myself and it's what I enjoy the most about this hobby. I don't know about you, but I got into this because I loved miniatures and I wanted to play with miniatures and make miniatures and build miniatures. And one thing that always drove me to, to stay in the hobby and be so invested in it was the ability to modify and make my own figures. That was kind of my entry point into sculpting. I didn't want to just put together some space marine that everybody else had. I wanted to make him my space marine, my captain, my leader. And, you know, it actually is one of the reasons that probably got in the way of me finishing as many armies and, and actually getting to play as much as I might have wanted to. But in the end, I'm much more of an artist um, than a gamer. I absolutely love games. And I play them quite frequently, but when it really comes down to it, it's far more important to me to have something that I've enjoyed building or sculpting and painting and that looks awesome on the table than being some tournament master level gamer. So what are some of the benefits of doing conversions? Well, I think probably one of the biggest benefits is that you don't have to sculpt the entire figure. Uh, you you start with a base, either modifying a figure that's mostly complete in a simple way, maybe changing an arm, sculpting your own head, adding on a different weapon that maybe requires you to sculpt a hand, and you know that allows you to focus on some of the basic skills needed in order to to successfully sculpt your own figure. In addition, you know with this one, this is this is kind of a level two version of that. It's made up of a bunch of different pieces from different kits and I've had to sculpt in elements to fit them together and blend them together so that it looks like one cohesive figure. One of the other benefits of doing conversions is that because you're using these common bits from various model kits you're inevitably going to probably see other people using those same pieces uh, to make the kits. So you can actually go out and find other people and what they're doing and let that inspire you uh, on the figures you're going to want to make. For instance, I did not come up with this uh, conversion scheme. I knew that I wanted to sculpt a space outlaw, maybe somewhat inspired by the superhero Cable, and so I was on Instagram searching around and I came across this incredible miniature converter named Roxville. And he made this figure so cool looking and it was just what I was looking for to be able to make in my own game. Now, even though I used a lot of the same pieces and kind of took the same look and, and setup as him, what's cool about conversions is even when you do that, usually you don't have all the same pieces. I was able to secure some of the main portions like the torso and the legs, but I wasn't able to get the arms and didn't have the same head, things like that, the gun, and so, but that's okay. I mean, you don't have to recreate it exactly if you want to, you know, you can, you can try and invest and figure out. Many of these people are very generous with sharing uh, all the parts that they used in the conversion 
and so you can recreate it but it's a great opportunity to start with a base that you're inspired from knowing some of the main pieces you need to get it done but then don't be afraid to go beyond that and, and accept the fact that yours is going to be different you're going to have a few different pieces you might have to sculpt some additional parts for instance I didn't I couldn't find any arm uh, to hold this gun that, that fit what I wanted it to look like a nice big bare muscular arm in that position so I mean I'm a sculptor <laughs> and you're sculptors so just sculpt it yourself it's great practice it, it, it helps your figure and conversion look even more unique and stand out on the tabletop against all those other space marines and uh, you know whatever you're whatever you're buying and playing with now before I go any further I want to hit on some of the technical aspects of converting miniatures uh, especially when you're you know actually sculpting on them like you like I am here the best material to use is going to be an epoxy putty I know that if you're familiar with most of my videos uh, what I prefer to sculpt with is Fimo poly or, or other polyclays and I wouldn't really recommend this, that here I'm not gonna say you can't but there's mm, I'm gonna say you can't <laughs> the main reason for that is that you would have to bake the polyclay to let it set and in order to do that you're most likely going to melt your miniature I'll give one caveat obviously if you're doing it on a metal miniature a metal miniature can take the heat it takes to cook the polyclay unfortunately plastic styrene which is what most people are converting these days and what I'm converting here will not it will melt so number one I'm using uh, green stuff just your typical Nita tight epoxy putty uh, I did uh, several of the portions you see on here I did go ahead and do uh, and mix it in with Aves epoxy sculpt I just prefer that blend but the key it doesn't really matter what epoxy putty as long as it's a self curing material you just you don't want to have be you can't be putting this under heat whether it's an oven or a, a putty oven a heat lamp anything like that because you will risk melting your plastic well, I better share all of the pieces I use in this conversion before I forget. Otherwise, you'll end up having to ask me for it, just like I ask anybody else who makes a conversion that I'm interested in. So, I'm not going to remember a lot of the exact names and kits, but I'll try and give you enough information that you should be able to hunt things down. So, the torso is from the Age of Sigmar, Caradun Overlords. I think a Sky Warden kit. It's one of the flying guys, little metal air balloons. The legs are from the Corpse Grinder kit. And what else? We've got a canteen from some sort of Imperial Guard catechin thing. Some handcuffs from Necromunda Enforcers. The rifle is actually a combination of a, it's mainly from a whatever they're called now the squats whatever the squats are called now it's one of the new squat rifles and then that lighter gray portion is actually an old 40k bolter from I think the, like the third edition kits that I just chopped apart fused and fit in there and lastly oh nope I got two more pieces the uh, left arm is from a Goliath Necromunda kit and the head is from, I believe it's from a Space Wolf Devastator, Heavy Weapon, whatever they're called these days, kit. There's a few other bits and bobs on there, like the little belly plate. I think that's a shoulder pad from a Goliath kit. But most of that stuff is just kind of filler. And, and you should just use whatever tiny little bits and pouches that you have. I hope this has helped you see a few other ways that you can go about learning to sculpt miniatures. This is especially useful when you're trying to train how to sculpt with epoxy putties, since you kind of have to use that. Before you go, I want to ask you a question. Why do you sculpt miniatures? Is it because you're a sculptor and this just happens to be the avenue you've chosen to express yourself? Or are you just really into the games and the worlds and the creation and 
because of your artistic nature, you just have to create this way. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If it's something else, post them down in the comments. Till next time, keep sculpting.